I believe that if you do your job to the best of your ability every day, then you feel satisfied. Meet Brett DeFrancisco, maintenance technician, on a new mission with meaning. We go straight to our jobs and get it done. Brett has always been about getting the mission accomplished. He's a 15-year Army veteran, a former infantry sergeant who was often in harm's way. We were midway through the patrol. When the IED went off, I knew that I was uh, hit because I could feel blood rushing down my leg. The guy who was treating me, I had to tell him, hey man, just calm down, I'm all right, take a breath. Just, let's just get this pressure dressing on and uh, we'll be good to go. It's an everyday thing for us. Brett returned to the U.S. decorated for valor, but with hidden wounds that were not healing. Traumatic brain injury, inner ear damage that came with an inability to keep his balance, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And then life began to unravel. Unfortunately, when I got home at first, uh, it was very hard on me. Um, I was a very angry, irritable, you know, person, and I came back a different person. Brett, the proud combat sergeant, was put on partial disability by Veterans Affairs and qualified for Social Security disability benefits, told he wasn't fit to work. My low point when I was I uh, got back was uh, when we decided to get divorced, me and my wife, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I lost my son and her because of it. They paid the price of my anger and you know, all the yelling and whatnot that I did, and you know, it, unfortunate. But Brett was not willing to give up. Instead, Brett crossed paths with PCSI, a government services contractor dedicated to providing meaningful work and rehabilitation to people with significant disabilities. Brett went to work on a PCSI contract maintaining barracks at Joint Base Lewis McCord, south of Tacoma, Washington. Those two ought to keep you busy until after uh, after lunch time. All right, Jerry. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Bye. When I first met Brett, he showed a lot of confidence. Uh, when we first began, we had a little building project, and he stepped right up and uh, kind of became the leader. Working with Jerry and being able to talk to him, uh, he's the one guy that I could really sit down and talk with because he also has PTSD. He was in the Vietnam War and, you know, the Ability One program where you could talk to somebody. And, you know, I sit down with Jerry when I'm having a difficult day and me and him just straight up have a little heart to heart, you know, and he's, he's telling me about the challenges that he's had to go through and, you know, he knows what I'm going through. And Brett's co workers can see the change. One of the things I respect about Brett is that he's He's uh, been shot a couple times, and he's been blown up uh, more than once also, and uh, I believe the work and the being able to talk about it has, has helped him out, you know, as a friend. Off the job, Brett pursues his passion for the outdoors in the majestic Pacific Northwest. Brett's former infantry unit's motto is deeds, not words. Brett's deeds and his determination are respected by his supervisors, so much that no one was surprised to learn that Brett is this year's Honor Roll for Veterans Award winner. It does take a very strong individual to get over, you know, uh, the things that has taken place with him um, while being in Iraq. He just steps up and takes over and uh, does what he has to do. I'm honored to be recognized, but to me, it's just something I believe in, and uh, I, I just believe in this program so much, and you know, it's, it's, it's really humbling to be recognized, and it's hard for me to, you know, be put up on the limelight for a job that I just believe I'm just doing to the best of my ability and something I believe in.